Good morning guys, I am Joke and today I'm gonna be playing some more Feria. It's gonna be a short stream today just while my daughter is sleeping. So I'm gonna jump right into Pandora. Okay, so we got green, blue and red. It sounds really nice. I think yellow is probably my least favorite color. And we start with legendaries. Wow. Tarum, Garudan. That is pretty epic. I need to post this in Discord quickly. Alright, so. Garudan is probably the strongest out of these. But the question is which one is more fun? I think I'm gonna go for Garudan. I really like Garudan and it's very very powerful. Or maybe the dream. Maybe the dream. Ah, I think Garudan is good here. I'll go with Garudan. Alright, so we got Wave Crash Colossus, which is a very powerful card in Pandora, I feel. Because if you just collect twice, it's gonna be a Verudan Force, and if you collect even more, it's gonna be, well, even better. I'm gonna go with the Colossi here. We got Farm Boy or a Steam Forge Enforcer, I really like both of them. I'm gonna go with the Steam Forge for now. Make sure we have some big bodies. I can never pass on a Triton Banquet. Treat and Banquet is just such a fun card, and I'd love to have mobility with my decks. But yeah, Famine is strong, Gabriel Noble is strong. It's gonna be a Treat and Banquet. I love my Jumping Dragons, Jumping Colossi. So Grimguard is obviously very powerful. Steamforge is a card that you never see play. But I'm thinking about trying it. Unfortunately though we have two very good cards that I would rather take over Steamforge. I'll go with the Grimguard. The reason why I think Steamforge is maybe not so terrible in um, Pandora is um, because it's hard to deal with it and the decks are generally slower and the games are longer, so the longer you have it out, the better. Can we go with the slinger here? Okay, so we have punishment and frogify. Both are really good. I'm gonna go with the frogify because that will help us also with the last word abilities. Ooh, Falcon Dive got Gorger. Two really strong cards again. We have three big guys. I think we can need some more than just three, so I'll go with the Gut Gorger. <sighs> this is not really a good r run here. I think I go with the Yak. Egg of Wonders, that's always fun. Hmm. Because of the lack of removal in Pandora, maybe the King's Faithful is going to be the pick here. I'll go with King's Faithful. Second Gut Gorger. Yes, please. Ooh. It's going to be really hard to proc the Gabriel Archon. The Triton Diver is really nice, but a third Gut Gorger? It's even better, right? I can say no to a third Gut Gorger. Hey, Blackscape! Grimguard. Oh, but Shifting Tide. I need to take Shifting Tide. As I said, I really like to have the mobility cards. A second Shifting Tide. 
Queen's Assassin is very powerful in this format, in this limited format. So I think I'll take the Queen's. But did I say Queen's favorite? I mean Queen's Assassin. So Battle Raiders is also a very strong card. Devouring Plant is great. But in Pandora, I feel like most people just take a lot of big guys, which makes um, Battle Rager even better and Devouring Plant slightly worse. Another Assassin. And we get Legendaries again. Alright, that's just crazy. Let's see. I have to post it again. Alright, so we got Mythmaker, Beiru, Tarum. I mean, we're not gonna pick Tarum here, I think, because we don't have any other green cards. Beiru is really good. Mythmaker is obviously awesome. Probably the second best um, legendary in the game right now. Or the best. Tied with Garudan. And I got them both. But in this particular deck. It's not going to be that impactful, perhaps. And I just love having Beiru in my opening hand, so... I think I'm going to go with Beiru here. Hmm. I mean, Gabriel Arkin is good. It's really good, even if you don't get to trigger the, the ability. And now we do have three cards. I mean, it's still a low chance, but I think it's the best out of those. And now we get the punishment. And to stack the Herald would be really good, but the punishment is just too good. I think I'm going to go with the punishment. Hmm. We're getting a lot of good draws here. I mean, Ludwan is stupidly good right now, I think. But I don't like that type of effect. Flamebirds is always good to have, so let's go with that. Wandering Monk, whenever you draw a card, game plus one. Thinking about taking the Explorer here. Whether the Queen's card. Yeah, I'll take the Queen's card. <laughs> Another Queen's Assassin. We also got Flamethrower and Spring Mochi, which is also really good. Get four cards with seven cost or more. I think I'm gonna go with the flamethrower. Tax collector. Alright, so now we got a. Oh! <laughs> Look at this. I'm gonna have a fourth Gut Gorger. We are, right? Of course we are. Fourth Gut Gorger. Here we go. Falcon died. I really like Waryak, but Cypher's Wrath is maybe just too good to pass. But let's take a look here. I mean, if we take the Waryak, 
We got also four gut gorgers. We got Beiru. We could maybe just like build straight to our opponents if we start with so many big guys. But I really like the Cypress Wrath. It's too good. Flame Spitter is really good. I only have one um, Triton Banquet though, so maybe Safeguard would be something to consider. But I will take the Flame Spitter here. Oh, we got a Prophet of Tides. Really like that card for the mobility again. And the Barbarian Ogre. Alright. I think this is a pretty decent deck. We're pretty lucky. You dislike uh, Wariak? I think it's really nice. You don't get too many punishments. I had the option not to pick two, so. All right, let's try it. And as I said in the beginning, um, this will probably not be a very long stream. My daughter is sleeping and when she wakes up I'll have to take take her. Alright, see you Blackscape. So we're up against Force of Will. I didn't take a picture now of my deck, which is maybe a mistake, so I'm gonna forget what I had. So my opponent is mulliganing, which means he's not gonna, or he's likely to not have a great hand. I'm actually gonna keep this, because I can d go double prairie and start collecting at my opponent's side quite quickly to reduce the cost of wave crash. And then just drop a mountain later to put down the gut gorger as well. One of the great things with Gut Gorger is that it's only one mountain requirement. It was changed recently, so it's a very powerful card. 5-5 five, five for 5 with only one land requirement is pretty good, especially when it has this nice bonus. So I'm hoping that my opponent will build in the other direction, because the Queen's Guard is... Kind of fragile. And I feel like I definitely have a lot of strong cards for the later part of the game, even though I didn't find a single meteor. Alright. So we get another God Courtier. This is looking good. So we could choke this now. If he has a shocking sense, which would be bad. We'll see. So tomorrow the uh, the ladder is going to be reset. So. I'm gonna try to stream when I try to climb the ladder again. Explore. Alright. Hmm, that's a bit unfortunate. I cannot collect this land now. I mean, collect this fairy. Thinking about just establishing really forward lands because I have so many big creatures that I would just like to drop in his face. So this is not what you usually see, just so many prairies all the time. But because God's Gorger only cost one, 
a mountain. I think it's uh, not too bad. I would have uh, placed a mountain this turn if I had enough to play the Gut Gorger. But since he was blocking me here, I only had four Feria. Yeah. So if he attacks us now, I'm gonna have five. So on my turn, eight. Oh no, and he got this. I was lucky for him. The reason why I was targeting this one here is because I do have the Falcon Dive and I'm hoping to trade the Flame Spitter into the Demon Wing. I don't want to just drop a Gut Gorger when he can just trade his Demon Wing into it. But I do have to start being aggressive. Oh, this is not good. Because he's. Uh, Gathering a lot of uh, feria right now compared to me. That is, of course, a good draw. He will have a lot of time to collect though before I can drop it. But I think Garuda next turn is going to be good. So for now, I'm going to drop Lake. Should I maybe put it here? But I think he's going to be too tempted to double collect. Reduce the cost of all events in each player's hand and deck by one. Right, I'm not running too many events, but... So many health, so much health on all these creatures that now my Garadan won't. I mean, he will still have double collecting even if I get it done. This Falcon die was good. Very good. Let's see if he has the last nightmare for five. If it's worth it to start trying to block off all his land so that once Pandora opens, it's gonna have a really hard time getting down to. Oh no! Bang. He 
He didn't place campfire yet, I don't think. Oh, but it doesn't. Hmm. I think I have to kill this. It feels like a waste. Oh well, you can also start harvesting with this with a jump. Maybe I just start going aggressive here actually. He has so much better economy than I do right now. He does have the campfire, so he will take out the Grim Guard, but I will get one more hit here, hopefully, which will make my gut quarters way bigger. Looks like you still had to pay the one, even though the shard said reduce all. But maybe he got this in his hand after, I don't remember. Still enough to get the gut torture. Unless he kills this now with a haste creature. No. Nope. Copy a creature. Copy a creature in your hand. I don't. I've never seen that one before. interesting so we're getting completely crushed with the economy but we have a lot of cards in our hands and if Pandora opens soon this uh, well control that he has right now won't really matter but he might have gotten already way too much value out of them let's see Still didn't collect a single fairy at my opponent's well. This sunken tower makes it so that I cannot put my flamethrower down here. I can hit it with a search of strength. No. So this will be an 11 11. 
it might be enough. And if I take Feria here, I will be able to play another one next turn, even if he kills this now. But yeah, he might have just a last nightmare now. Or another frog fight. Good afternoon. Um, yeah, I won't be playing in the tournament tonight, unfortunately. So he's drawing a card, that's good for us, means he's looking for an answer. Let's hope he doesn't find something like Last Nightmare or... Oh, that's not good either. land is he moving? So I still didn't harvest anything from my opponent's well. What's better, King's Faithful or God's Gorger? So I'm hoping that he can't kill it now so that I can take another Feria here, so I can play another Gut Gorger next turn. Pandora is never opening. So I'm expecting him just to stand in front now and uh, start attacking my face. He's gonna have to move this land. Yeah. This is only 8 damage a turn, maybe. He might have more Rebel Slingers. Or he's gonna summon another Skyguard, perhaps. He did use Echo. But at least Pandora is open now, which is good for us. But it's not gonna be good enough, maybe. We can have 8 damage with the Banquet and the God Gorger. It's not enough. Could play Prophet of Tides to move the Sky Guard away, but he can just move it right back. Yeah, no, I think we're losing this game. Let's see what we can draw. So if he summons something here now and take me down to 2 HP 
I don't think there's anything I can do. Should I maybe put this back? We can find a Cypher's Wrath. We're gonna get seven, we can have eight fairy, it's gonna be enough. We can even draw. Alright, Cypher's Wrath for lethal, come on. Unless we're already dead. Come on, don't kill me. Okay, I'm dead. GG, that was a close one. That's unfortunate. So let's see what this is that we could have found to win the game. Cypher's Wrath. I think that's about it. Alright, so we got 15 people in the chat. Is there anyone who wants to take a 1v1? Because I don't think I'll have time for another Pandora game. My daughter will wake up pretty soon. So whoever feel courageous enough, let's play. I might have to leave it early though. So get Sapphire in game already. Does anyone want to play? Alright, so Sapphire is uh, finishing up a game and then he'll join. If anyone wants to play before that. Okay, it's one turn away. <laughs> and Slagsaur is playing with him. Alright, so Sapphire, what should we play to slaughter him? That's the question. I have some new interesting decks we can try. So Sapphire got crushed. He thought he was winning, but no. In the meantime, you can look at the stack. I um I had missed somehow that Twin Soul Spirit has been buffed. It's a 4-3 now, which makes it far better than a 4-2. Alright, so we got a game. So we're gonna try that out. Now we saw the deck, perhaps. Doesn't really matter. You can see it anyway when I play. Keep looking at my phone to see if baby's awake. So far, so good. So what I'm looking for here is the elementals or maybe a Beiru or something. This is definitely not what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna redraw. So the elementals are really strong here to get my lands out. Yeah, this is okay. Especially since I have the Explorer, I can get Elemental out in turn one. And I don't think I have to be too Like, I don't have to contest his side of the board right now. Because if I can just farm for a bit and get my big creatures out, I think I'm in a good spot. So 
So do I want to choke this? If I choke it, he's going to get one less fairy. Well, more than one less, because if I don't choke it, it's going to collect for multiple turns. So I think it makes sense to choke here. Oh no. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is kind of annoying. That's not good. It's not good at all. I have to collect. Just want to stop him from getting these lands here. What I could do is uh, make a copy of Iona. Oh, he can make lands where I'm flying. I didn't know that. Just have two Ionas surround my orb could be interesting. Let's draw a card. Yeah, that's not bad. So I want to make um, or should last nightmare this of course. If I step here, he has to create the land here to attack with both, which make, gives him a... He cannot draw a card at the same time. So I think that's important. 
<sighs> but uh, it looks like I might be dead here. But if you can't deal with this, um, I will have my aviary to deal a lot of damage. This ruining kind of screwed me over. Hey mid skills, welcome. So we have 25 viewers right now. It's pretty good for this early in the day. Looks like he might not have an answer for this. Drawing a card, spell whirl. What can he find? Not many blue cards will save him here. Alright, GG. Oh, did I already have lethal? Was this just BM? Yeah, it was. Sorry. I think I'll have time for another game. Is mid skills making a Mickey Mouse face? Like this? I got Mickey Mouse right here. All over my back. Sapphire went to edit his deck. Alright, so it's back. Should I take the same deck or the crazy apex? We go crazy apex now, right? So what are you playing now, Sapphire? Alright, so I got the the Triton Diver and my Egg of Wonders. So that's a good starting hand for me. And I didn't draw any of my big guys, so there's a bigger chance of finding it with Egg of Wonders. So that's really good. You know what I got, Sticky. Guess it's some OTK business. I absolutely love the art of this Triton Diver. It's so beautiful. Alright, so this seems to me like an Ursus deck. So let's go remove his forests. <laughs> I have a feeling Tarum is coming out soon. So next turn, if he doesn't kill the diver here, I'm gonna have 12, 13, 14. So it's gonna be enough for Beiru and creation. So sorry, I'm gonna take away all of your forests.
the Aurora avatar is uh, from the if you are a Kickstarter backer you get this avatar or you get the option to get this or the full collection is he gonna be able to kill it? Tethra it's not enough right? Do I go face here? Five. I don't have enough to, to play both. No, I want to kill this. Let me drop another barrel here. We can drop some lands here because they will become lakes. Drawing cards. Oh, is he going face now? draw something that gives me lethal? I don't think so. But I have to block this from attacking my face. Alright. GG. So we got Ruining in Star 10. If he's playing green again, that could be hard for him to deal with. Let's look some green blue combo shenanigans. Or maybe this is just for the Feed the Forest. Having rune in, in the starting hand is kind of mean. It does take quite some time to get it out though. Quite far away still from being able to play Predator, but we can drop the Force next turn or Runin if he kills it.
He's just gonna buff his Verdurin Force. But if I don't do this, I fall really far behind. So I'm just gonna have to hope that he doesn't have the buff. Doesn't trade yet, which is a good sign. He's drawing. Maybe he finds. No, doesn't seem like it. do want to make this trade before he gets the opportunity to do a favorable trade because I'm not really running any buffs here to treat him bank rate of course but I don't have enough to play it yet so next turn I can drop rune in Don't want him to drop his Ursus right in my face. creation on Ronin would also be kind of nice. That was a mistake. Now he's going to step on my forest. Still didn't drop any of his Ursus, so I'm wondering if he's maybe playing something else. But the, all these deserts makes it seem so much like it with the can Soul Drain, can Windborn, also the move, uh, move a creature. Oh, it doesn't work like that anymore. Well, almost done. Oh, 
Oh no! <laughs> if it kills Rooney now, it's gonna die. My hand is full. Whoops. Yeah, so I'm not getting it. <laughs> That's uh It's a little bit unfortunate. I'm losing now. He will have lethal. Should have put uh Tethra here and um rune in here. I would still just attack it. Yep, GG. No? Right, because of Rune and I keep losing cards. He has a lot of buffs and he can move creatures around, so we'll see. Ah, that was annoying. Now I can't harvest and attack. That's it. That is it. I have to play a card before I can draw. All right, GG. Well, I have to get going now. Thanks for the games and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I might I might stream more later tonight. All right, good night, guys.